<laughs> Kay's got your forecast on this, what is it, Friday Eve, isn't it? It is Friday Eve wow. indeed, and wow. unfortunately on Saturday Eve, at uh -oh. this time tomorrow, rain oh. will arrive just in time to kind of spoil a little bit of the weekend. weekend. Okay. Yeah, you mm. know, it's that time of the year, it's the holiday season, you kind of want it to be cold and crisp, but sunny and dry to get some of that last minute Christmas shopping or decorating for the holidays done while well, the rain unfortunately is going to be with us for most of the coming weekend. Let's take a look outside right now. We'll take you out to Center City, which is quiet tonight. The clouds have moved on in, but most of today was quiet from the city on south. At least we had a few sprinkles and snow showers to the north, especially early today, but quiet tonight and quiet through most of tomorrow. It'll actually be dry most of the day. Most of the rain not coming in at least until afternoon, mainly after nightfall tomorrow evening. Storm scan three again shows the clouds in place. Not a whole lot going on right now, but notice all this rain. A lot of green lurking in the southwestern corner of the screen here, and we've got almost two pieces of energy. This is going to be the problem with this system. It's kind of breaking into two segments. The main energy of the low is centered back across portions of Texas, kind of a big, slow moving bowling ball low centered over Texas. It's going to drift north and east this weekend, but we also have a new developing low out ahead of it. This one's going to skate through tomorrow night into Saturday, and that means we're getting two phases of this system, both of which will bring rain to our area. Temperatures right now are in the 30s. It is above freezing. Temps are on their way up actually as we get into your Friday. It's 43 in Dover, 46 in Wildwood, 36 right now in Philadelphia, 45 in DC, relatively mild, 29 in State College, and it's 35 in Richmond. But we have all day tomorrow for temperatures to rise. So tonight we'll stay in the mid 30s. It'll be mainly cloudy and seasonable. Tomorrow, 53, mostly cloudy through the day. By the afternoon, showers may develop, but it's really tomorrow night that the rain begins in earnest. So a rain chance Friday p.m. Saturday, 90% chance of rain. Sunday, a 70% chance, and then we dry it out just in time to head back to work on Monday. So here are our two waves of low pressure. The first one brings the rain tonight into, or tomorrow night into Friday, I should say. Sunday, we get that secondary piece of energy that just takes its time kind of moving through here. Rain is likely both Saturday and Sunday, and as far as the hourly timing is concerned again by this time tomorrow night. The rain will be moving in. It'll be heavy at times tomorrow night into Saturday morning and then continue throughout the day Sunday. How much rain are we talking here? Well, by Sunday night at 11 o'clock, 48 hours or 48 hours from the start time of the storm tomorrow night through Sunday night, we'll see over an inch of rain. Many spots will end up with between one to two inches. But again, a 48 hour duration to get an inch or two means that this is not going to be a major flooding concern. There will be some localized flooding, but it's really just a cloudy, gloomy, rainy weekend. Mm -hmm. Sunday's a little colder, and then we're back to sunshine next week.